All right, so I want to talk about something else, but I'll just talk about these classes first or something like that. Okay, so first of all, we've got the assault run or something like that. So basically, you've got like these lifeline bins, but you're getting like weapon attachments or something like that in them. So that's cool, I guess. Um, there's also something about if none of your team have like a weapon and like you open this thing, like you can get a weapon to start off with. So I reckon there's sort of going to be like a challenge or something like that. Now it's like you're only allowed to use the gun you get from like this bin thing or something like that. Uh, apparently if you get like a gun or something like that, it's just going to be a gun with like those slots and then you keep like those slots. So it's either four things or a gun in two. Next thing with the assault thing or something like that is bonus ammo per stack or something like that yeah uh so i reckon this is normally 16 or something like that and you get like an extra what's that like an extra five is it this one it's an extra 20 uh not sure how it's how much it's going to be for sniper but maybe an extra seven or something like that so 35 per stack with sniper all right so next we've got the skirmisher this one doesn't really look that special. All it is is you can like look at a drop thing or something like that and then see what's in it. Uh, basically it's just a worse version of like Loba or something like that. Like Loba can see like what's in the supply bin once it reaches the ground. And she can also bring up a shop and like grab it or something like that. So not really that interesting. Alright, so we've got the recon or something like that. Uh, this one's a bit interesting, but basically with these things, uh, it allows you to scan the whole map and see where all the enemies are, it looks like. Yeah. So, that could be interesting, I guess. Uh, I guess they scan it there and then, like, all that's up. It also does show, like, World's End or something like that. I don't think there's any different. Um, no, nah, that's Landside and what or something else, but... Yeah, everything looks the same. Okay, next we've got the control class or something like that. Basically, you go up to these boxes. I thought the control and recon were the same, but no, they look different. Anyway, with this, yeah, it's the normal recon thing. You can see, like, the next ring, I guess. Yeah. I'm surprised they don't like making the same thing or anything like that, as in the control people can see the ring. But if a recon person goes up to it, they can see, like, the players or something like that. And also with this one, doesn't look like there's anything well different with the map okay last one is support or something like that i'm not sure if it's a nerf or a buff or something like that but anyway apparently if you go to a crafting machine um you can craft a banner or something like that i reckon it's, it says it's 30 here i reckon you also need the 50 or something like that to respawn them if there's not like one nearby so yeah that could be interesting but only 30 yeah that could work that's a box and a canister yeah. Also, these lifeline bins, I'm pretty sure, like, everyone can use them. As you see there, Newcastle can now, like, open them. So, yeah. Anyway, the thing I actually wanted to talk about was Team Deathmatch. Okay, uh, so it seems like a control thing or something like that, as in, you pick your guns or something like that for the round. I thought it was just going to be, like, an arena thing where if you die... Like you don't respawn or something like that but going down a bit you can see um it's first to 30 kills or something like that and you have to win like two or three rounds so it's best of five maybe just change it to like a best of three or you're never going to finish these oh my bad i read it wrong um these two are champions or something like that yeah i don't know uh, I have no idea why it's got round kills if it says, say, one. Um, uh, well. But anyway, uh, th this thing could be interesting because, well, if it sticks around or something like that. Alright, so this thing's like a 6v6 or something like that. And, yeah, it's basically all the good things that, uh, control boss. You can pick, like, any weapon or something like that. Although, I think you can only change between rounds. And you can have, like, many character or something like that. So this is good for, like, leveling up your battle pass. 
or something like that because like all the challenges um normally i find it tough to do like battle royale stuff but if i can like respawn or something like that i it makes it a bit easier maybe i don't know really uh the only thing though is limited time it would be great if it was like a infant thing or something like that but i'm not sure if, if it is no idea what this heat wave thing is um i think that's like the normal thing over there not sure what that is but yeah um oh okay no it is a bit different isn't it so i think they're always going or something like that but it's in rotation so we've got team deathmatch and control then team deathmatch again and then gun run yeah this could work um if it's all season round that would be great because you've got control and then control junior basically uh gun run's not that good because uh you only get you only have like a certain time on like each gun or something like that so yeah it doesn't really work unless you like really suck at one gun and you can farm out damage on that gun but you're not really getting knocks on it so not sure about that Mm, I reckon that's all. The only other thing is the Nemesis or something like that. Apparently it's an assault rifle or something like that using energy. Uh, yeah, not sure. All round burst. Um, could be interesting. There could be something else. Uh, not sure. Alright, so I was just thinking about this. Uh, because it's like an energy plus it's like a four round burst. Or something like that. I'm almost thinking they might have to make it a red tier weapon. Uh, as it says here, it's guaranteed to ruin the day of at least one person or something like that. Uh, so I reckon this could be really overpowered. And I'll see if you nerf soon. Let's see damage. Uh, four round burst. Can't make it too high. But it's also an assault rifle. Between 15 and 20 damage, I reckon. Let's go for a good 16 damage. I reckon that's going to do. Um, 16 actually makes it work pretty well or something like that. Let's add a 4 burst or something like that. Like you have to burst them 4 times, like 16 bullets, I think. Uh, the reason I think it's going to be like sort of broken all that is because of the prowl and all that um prowl is either like really good or really bad it's like a five burst thing but it's like 20 damage per bullet or something like that so that's like a hundred straight gone if they hit all five shots pretty sure it's um 20 body it's actually the headshot of it uh might as well actually go into the game and uh talk about a few other things Hmm. That's interesting. Like, really, you almost forget how good low visibility is. Uh, but anyway. Okay. So, I reckon it's full burst 100 for body shots. 80. Interesting. Hmm. I reckon that actually changed the damage. Yeah. I'll see... See how through one door. Uh... 14 and 22. Alright, uh, I guess because it's got the air involved, with that load it a bit. Uh... Yeah, 16 seems about right. Not sure though. Okay, let's do some more. 32, 50. At the end, my receiver is just like a really slow fire rate, so yeah. Okay, but the Nemesis is doing its four round burst or something like that. Apparently, it's like 64 damage, or with 16 damage. This is 60, so 16 seems about right. I guess. I thought 
Plus just the best with this anyway. Mm, I feel like the burst is going to be a bit slower with the Nemesis, but it's... Yeah, this seems about right though. Alright, so currently my computer is absolutely hurting me, so hopefully I can get this over with really quick. Okay, right now I'm at 64 or something like that. Uh, I think I've worked it out, so... I am... If I was to do like all my challenges, I make it up to 80 or something like that. So I'm almost got like the best emote of like the battle pass or something like that. I was interested in this frame, which I might be able to get. Shame about this rifle, but uh, well. And we've also got the reactive charge rifle, which definitely not gonna get. That's a shame, but I guess I didn't play that much this season. Um, wasn't really interested in the season or I had other stuff to do. So anyway, this is Channel 450. My name's out, and that's how we're getting signing out. Um, you can actually do like a 20 thing or something like that. Like a 20 burst body, body shot. If you made it like a red tier weapon. Yeah, okay. Could be interesting. Um, bow's probably still going to be in there. Um, I reckon they're probably going to take out the rampage or something like that. And then put the Nemesis in. Yeah, the RA45 has some pretty good attachments that are pretty good. Uh, the bow check, um, it's just like a really interesting weapon. And because it's like the only weapon using the arrows, somehow still the only weapon using the arrows. Yeah, it's probably going to stay in the care package for quite a while. And well, the Kraber is the Kraber. Even though some people reckon the Sentinels. Well, chart sentinels better, but uh, well. Anything else I want to talk about? Hopefully, I didn't forget anything. Oh, well.